Buenas a todos, chavales. Otro viernes más. Con el Star Citizen Live. <risa> Pero sin la... Jodido, sin el jodido grip de Birpil. Pero bueno. Estaba a puntito de pillarlo y todo. Me falta solo el grip de Birpil. Pero bueno, vamos al tema de... Del Star Citizen Live. De, de esta semana. Que se llama... Eh, entrega de fideos intergaláctica. Así que... Dentro asunto. Dentro asunto que debe ser por aquí, por aquí, por aquí, por aquí. Pim, pam. Uh, ¿qué nos pasamos? ¿Qué nos pasamos? ¿Qué nos pasamos? ¿Qué nos pasamos? Dos minutos. Por aquí tiene que estar. Ahí está. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Star Citizen Live Game Dev Intragalactic Noodle Delivery. Intergalactic, <laughs> which we, we thought was going to be intergalactic like the Beastie Boys song, and then I looked it up and I'm like, no, intergalactic is between galaxies, intragalactic is within the galaxy, which is more appropriate for the Star Citizen universe. And so we're here with vehicle concept artist. Parece que intergaláctica es entre galaxias y... Entre Galactic, algo así, es dentro de la misma galaxia. O sea, Entre Galactic es dentro de la misma galaxia y no sé qué le ha dicho. Bueno, igual dice que, que puede que le recuerde una canción de los Beast Boys o algo así. No me acuerdo la cuál era, pero esa canción no era de... de... Eh, Daft Punk. No sé. Sarah McCall, Sarah, how you doing? I'm doing very well. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing this, well. This time. <laughs> this this is our this is our third one of these, if I remember correctly. Uh, yes. Well, the, well, the, the the second one of this type. Uh, we've been on the show twice before. Uh, the first time we uh, we created a ship concept uh, from scratch uh, you, you, using you, using a bunch of uh, various uh, modular parts. Uh, that was the uh, Anvil Overkill. That's the one. Yeah. Maybe we'll take a look at that before we get started. Um, I think in the anterior Star Citizen Life, that was that was Sara, they did the the Ambi Rebel Kill, which was in plan a ship created in plan de coña, which was pues un a monster, no? <laughs> and then we had you on again to go through uh, some of your process, uh, Korea. You, you've moved on to, to to making a lot of the more recent Crusader ships, like the like the Star Runner and stuff like that. We explored your work mm -hmm. on that and the Carrick and, and, and stuff like that. Um, Today, we are going back to where we started, and we are going to create a ship. Discolando tiene el audio como el culo a veces, macho. Está petardeando muchísimo. Brand new using modular components. Uh, tell mm -hmm. us, uh, you, have, you have determined what we're making uh, today. I, I, I didn't pick for you. What have you decided that we're making? I, I thought it would be cool to make a Crusader-style delivery uh, truck. Um, I think it would be, you know, it's... Quite in the fitting, fitting at the moment with what what's you know with like we just had the the sail and things like that. So it would be nice to just have a bit of a concept with Crusader and uh, see what we can come up with, uh, and and, uh, and hopefully it'll be something fun and something that people will be like, oh, that's interesting. Vale, dice que van a tratar de desarrollar una especie de camión de, de Crusader, eh, ya que está que coincide muy bien en el momento, ya que están desarrollando temas de Crusader y demás. Y espera que sea divertido para todos. Uh, now, it's interesting. Uh, you, had, you didn't know this when you picked it, but back in uh, April of 2016, if I remember correctly, uh, one of our uh, April Fool gags back then was Intergalactic Food Delivery, where we developed a, where we developed a Big Benny's uh, 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 Reliant, uh, if I remember correctly. Let me, let me see if I can bring that up here before we, before we get going here. Uh, so we'll, we'll switch to you, and we'll bring this over here. And you, you can still see this on our website now, guys. Uh, this was Intergalactic Food Delivery. This was our April 1st gag from 2016. You can see our uh, Big Benny's themed... Están hablando sobre, sobre el tema de, de cuando enseñaron eh, la, en el 2016, en el Día de los Inocentes, el April Fool, el Día de los Inocentes para los americanos, ¿no? Que viene siendo, pues, que enseñaron esta, esta eh, Reliant de, de entrega de comida, ¿no? 
en plan de con el motivo de Big Benny y tal. Reliance, uh, that, that we did in our Big Benny's delivery outfit uh, that was done by the character team. Uh, we also have a menu of various Big Benny's items. And then, of course, we had a little video and stuff like that. But, yeah, uh, Intergalactic uh, Food Delivery uh, has, been a, uh, has been a career mm -hmm. promise since April 1st, 2016. And, uh, you know, today we... we, 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 we <laughs> Dice que la, el reparto de comida intergaláctica que ha sido una promesa desde el día de April Fool de 2016. Y hoy vamos a... We make good on that a little bit. So why don't you go ahead and share your screen, Sarah? And we'll, we'll get started. Yeah, so this was what we did, wasn't it? Like, um, it was a few months ago, which we, we did the, the Anvil Overkill, and uh, you guys, like, picked all the pieces for it, and, it, and this is what we came up with, and it was just, like, more weapons, more <laughs> guns. Bueno, esto simplemente cuando, cuando de repente pues empezaron a hacer esto, que lo hicieron con colaboración de la gente, la gente pedía piezas y tal, y, y ya las ponía, ¿no? Y hicieron esa monstruosidad que evidentemente no tiene ningún sentido. Yeah, with like some Crusader stuff that I just. Yo vamos a hacer lo mismo, pero con um, parte de Crusader. I thought it'd be pretty cool if, like, you know, you guys can suggest like certain sections again, and we can, in fact, make a few. Ahora que se pueden like, hacer. We don't have to just make the one. We... Se pueden hacer sugerencias. La gente va a poder hacer sugerencias de partes y demás para montar un monstruo, ¿no? With, like, say, cool. you know, this one. Or well, whatever. why don't we? Why don't we start by getting rid of my picture in the corner? Just drag me off your screen there. We don't. People don't Aww. need to see me here. Hi, bye. Bye. And then, bye. Uh, yeah, we'll t I'll turn the floor over to you. <laughs> Dice discolando que lo, que lo quite de ahí de la esquina, que no quiere estar ahí, que ya, que ya me ha visto bastante la gente. Like a basic one for now, so I quite like this shape, so we'll just pick, we'll just pick him for now. Um, and we'll just pop him over here, and then we'll just, just start to build him up a little bit. Um, and this is kind of what I do already for like my, my concept processes. Like I'll just make a series of like little shapes um, and start to like build it up and and start to just add like little details and just it just kind of adds to like the, you know it's you know it be feeling a bit solid and you know we start i can start to see like little bits and just adding detail and you know because crusade is quite um it's quite clean and soft so you don't want to add too many um like panel lines and things like that but you just want to make sure that you've got like you know like the flow right Um, bueno, dice que Crusader es bastante limpio y bastante suave en el sentido de que no de que no, no, no puede tener demasiados o así sea, paneles, ventanas como tiene aquí, ¿no? Que, no, que no es conveniente que tenga de, demasiadas para no romper el, el fluir de la, del estilo de la marca. You've got the, uh, the double um, glass effect where you know you could potentially walk on this section here and then, you know have like a really nice um, Like sort of drop down and you can see what's below you, mm -hmm. which yeah. would be. Me dice que la idea que sería tener aquí este panel de esta zona de aquí que sería como un cristal debajo eh, y la gente podría caminar por ahí y ver ver lo que hay debajo, ¿no? como quedar suspendido como tipo. Tengo como se hace la el Anvil Carrack, ¿no? We're, that's why we're working to, here with Crusader today. Have you considered mm -hmm. adding more struts? Could, no. could you just like try adding six or seven struts for me? No, sorry, no. Uh, I don't want. No, no, I, 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 if anything, less, and we could like, <laughs> could even add a, you know, maybe like something above as well. So you've got like this whole vista, you know. I, I, I'm all about, you know, more glass. You know, you can even add, like, stuff vale. like está, le está diciendo a Discolando si puedo añadir más barridas de esas de las ventanas y le dice que no, que que como mucho algo por arriba, pero que no que no va a quitar ese, esa vista de ahí, ¿no? Al final es la, es la personalidad de Crusade. If you're not delivering your cargo, you're crashing into everything, then, you know, it, it's a terrible design on my part. So it's like, I want to make sure that you can get to where you're going um, and deliver what you need to deliver without bumping into stuff. That, you know, you never know what you're going to encounter in space, do you? So it's, you know... I, As a designer, I want to make sure that you can have pure visibility, you know. Mm -hmm. And as, as I say, it would be cool because I say you, you, your cockpit can... Me well, está diciendo que como diseñadora quiero asegurarse de que tengas una, una buena visibilidad. Nunca sabes lo que te vas a poder encontrar en el espacio. Entonces, que quiere hacer una... Que, la, que, que puedas ver a dónde vas, ¿no? Que quieres, quieres estar segura de que, de que puedas ver el camino, ¿no? A dónde te diriges. What, like, uh, is it Wonder Woman? Uh, not Wonder yeah, Woman. Yeah, the Invisible is it, Jet. It is Wonder yeah. Woman. Yeah, yeah, that's jet. it, isn't it? 
and she's just sat there, just flying, just just, just randomly through the clouds, um, which is which always looked a bit looked a bit odd, I thought. Um, and like these mid sections as well are like attachments, so it's like uh, I'll just attach this mid section um, just to to help bulk to help bulk the, bulk the boy out. So we'll just have to see there. That's another thing with Crusade. It's got this. It's another thing about Crusade. It's got it's got this hump that that it has. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that I, um, you know, ha you know, followed its style language when I'm when I'm connecting these parts. Uh, and as I say, it's not too dissimilar to to how I do, you know, very quick concepts. Now, does myself. does so, the hump have any practical purpose, or is it just? A stylistic choice. It's a stylistic choice on my end, because um, we, when we first did the Crusader, we looked at the Genesis uh, Starliner, and we we wanted to keep some of its its core uh, shapes and things like that. So when we did the uh, the Star Lifter and the the, the Star Runner, we kept um, some of its elements, and one of the elements was that it had like a like a hump on it, mm -hmm. which we thought was pretty cool. Um, so it kind of just transitions across all of the all of the new ones that we've done, uh, and and it looks looks cool. And it kind of adds to its silhouette, which is nice. Um, so. Bueno, entiendo que dice de que porque pregunta dijo Orlando por qué tiene esto, ¿no? Por qué tiene esto aquí y dice que claro que Clay's Starliner por lo visto tenía la, la de pasajeros, ¿no? Sabéis eh, que tenía este como es como este toque y que querían eh, llevar ese toque a, al resto de naves de, de Crusader como que fuera parte de, 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 su, de su tema ¿no? que también lo podemos ver en la un poquito en lo que sería la, la Mercury y que simplemente es, es, es puramente estético que no que no tiene ninguna funcionalidad extra digamos and then you can like start to add um, the cargo to it your precious noodle cargo So you can kind of like be like, right, this is primarily delivering big batches of noodles. So you've obviously done some work on this. Me dice que está metiendo la carga ahí, que son eh, eh, fundamentalmente fideos. Uh, 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 some kind of external apparatus for the for the cargo containers. Yeah. So this would be like almost almost what I imagine like mag plates to be, and. Um, Like all your your cargo container could like drop down like on hydraulic system, and like pick them up and then pull them up. So it's like you know you don't have to, so that loading's a bit easier for you instead of. Está diciendo que quiere poner como una especie de sistema hidráulico para eh, descargar la carga en el sentido de que no tengas que, que molestarte, ¿no? Que simplemente ya lo haga el sistema de para poder vaciar la carga sin esfuerzo. Off you go. Um, with your, uh, you know, your car, your precious noodle cargo containment and stuff. So um, that that's my that's my thinking anyway. On on this is like it's always, you know, how can I make uh, people's lives easier when, um, you know, when we're making this kind of thing and uh, mag plates definitely um, do it for me for this because it's yeah. you know, these can be quite big, really containers. So. Yeah, because thinking about it, it's. Me dice que que ella piensa siempre a la hora de hacer una nave en en cómo puede hacer la vida más fácil es más fácil a la gente, ¿no? Y entonces que el tema de de la carga, que además que dice que son bastante gordos los contenedores que hay ahí, que es importante que dar facilidades a la gente para trabajar con eso, ¿no? Por ahí el de ahí el el sistema hidráulico esa idea, ¿no? You know, where where Clee says this is for this purpose, kind of thing. Uh, having this stuff on the exterior is probably one of the only ways to really communicate that. Yeah, that that's it. So it's like it's just thinking about those, you know, those little things that you know really do, um, like help with just the design and making it feel a bit more, you know, solid, uh, rather than, you know, as you say, like loading things little by little. And I was actually, because I live by a farm, I was looking at all the haystackers, and they've got like these big bars that go across, mm. and it's all external. Um, so it, I was thinking like. Maybe some sort of like I say this container, like some sort of grabber or so 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 some sort of magnetic plate would be pretty cool. Um and that's how I come up with this idea. Because there's a lot of farmer machinery by mine. Mm -hmm. 
and that's how I get a lot of ref for, for a lot of this stuff. I feel like so. there's, I, f- I feel like maybe inadvertently or maybe intentionally, you'll have to tell me there, there there's some misc influence here. Uh, there, it, it, it definitely looks like Crusader took a look at the uh, the Hull series and said, "How could we make it better?" Yeah, that's all that's it. Like, uh, me lo está diciendo como que la carga va exterior en plan con algún tipo de, de, de tema magnético y tal y de hecho discolando le dice que hay como parece que hay como una especie de, de influencia de, de mis que al hacer aquí no pues la serie Hull y todo eso ya sabéis que tiene la carga fuera oh. mm-hmm. um, and you can see it and uh, the, the, some of the shapes as well are really nice and I like the, the you know like the, the thrusters and things like that the shapes of them and things and um, you know you know what Crusader like they've been building yeah. ships for the longest time so they're kind of like, you know, how can we make it, you know, yeah. bigger and better? Well, you, you, you see it a lot in the real world, too. Uh, popular designs from one manufacturer tend to influence their competitions. Like when, yeah, the, when, like when the new... Ya está comentando de que el, con el tema de parecido de, de Miss, que sí, que la idea de la marca es que llevan ya un tiempo haciendo naves y que tratan de, pues, que no sería mala idea el tratar de ver cómo funcionan otras mecánicas en otras naves, ¿no? Y como compañía supuesta en el juego que tratan de, de hacer mejor esa, esa idea. Y dice discordando que eso es algo que se, que se ve también en, la, en las marcas de coches de la actualidad, ¿no? De, o sea, bueno, de cosas de la actualidad, como una, una marca que hace algo muy bien, pues eso in, influencia a otras marcas, ¿no? A copiar o, o sacar ideas de ahí. Done it recently with it, is it like mm-hmm. that? They're trying to copy, isn't it? The Aston Martin fronts and. Um... Right. You you just see them like influencing each other, and it is it is kind of cool because you get like a pretty pretty much a, like a reasonable price car looking pretty sweet, and you know help comp- competition's healthy. I reckon it's it's you know drives things to look better and. Um, Lo está diciendo que ves eh, como yeah. es como marcas como Aston Martin por ejemplo pillan de, de de otras marcas y se van influenciando unas a otras. Y eso también hace que, que consigas un vehículo pues eh, por un buen precio, pero con un diseño interesante, ¿no? Con un diseño guapo. Y que la competencia en ese sentido pues es interesante, ¿no? Multiple manufacturers across multiple industries. Yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? It's like, you, you, you just see it, and as I say, like I said before, competition's good. <laughs> it's, it's healthy, so. Yeah. Uh, we're starting to see some questions from the chat. And again, if, you're, if you are watching, uh, if you have a question for uh, uh, Sarah, uh, Sarah is our concept artist that is working on a, uh, a Crusader Industries uh, <laughs> food delivery uh, vehicle uh, this week, uh, just sort of hanging out for an hour, goofing off, having some fun. Um, one of the important questions. This might this might be a question for design as opposed to a concept, but we're going to pose it to you anyway, Ooh. Sarah. Uh, okay. Hey, put your designer hat on for a minute. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Can the noodles be a form of heat sink to both keep the noodles warm and cool the ship components? Lo. Bueno, dice que le van a preguntar una pregunta de diseño que cree que que ponga su mentalidad de diseño cambie el el chip no que como siempre ya sabéis que se lo pueden hacer preguntas le están preguntando si los si los fideos se, se van a poder poner cerca de de las tuberías de, de, de calor digamos de las tuberías de calor en plan de refrigeración y tal de la nave ya sabéis entonces para para ver si se pueden mantener ah, si se pueden calentar ahí no That's a very good question. I mean, have you seen those videos where like, people like sculpted toilets out of them and stuff, and like, like utilize them for I, just I, like making false nails out of them and things like that? I, I don't like, think that's the same thing. Well, as I said, well, as where like people have like sculpted toilets out of them for a minute. Oh, okay, uh, okay. That's can the noodles be a form of heat sink? To both keep the noodles warm and cool the ship components. Hmm, that's a that's a very good question. I mean, have you seen those videos where like people have like sculpted toilets out of them and stuff, and like like utilized them for just like making false nails out of them and things like that? I, I don't like, think that's the same thing. Well, as I said, I think at this point it's like they can be used for for, for anything. Um, and I think like. I think I I would use it as I could probably fashion it into some sort of heat sink. Like <laughs> La verdad es que no no entendió la la comparativa porque dice de que ha visto videos de YouTube, que que es una interesante que ha visto de YouTube de cómo eh, la gente va al, al servicio y utiliza pff, literal, o sea, 
eh, o sea, hace pasar una movida por agujas que no tengo ni, ni idea de, 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 de lo que va, o sea, pero algo, algo ha dicho así, me parece. Like you open up your, your, like, you know, your ship Yo sé alguna frase hecha que no me lo Yeah, all, 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 the, like, the, like the ship power components would be on, on the exterior next to the crate so that they could keep the noodles warm. Yeah, that, it, it's, I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's, it's definitely, uh -huh. it's de definitely thinking with somebody's noodle. Lol. Eh, acaba de saltar un chistaco verde ahí el señor discolando. Eh, básicamente dice que no, definitivamente no es una mala idea poner componentes y tal cerca de los cerca de los fideos, ¿no? Eh, eso pues es, es bueno pensar en el fideo de alguien. Así en resumidas es eso lo que ha dicho, ¿no? Entonces luego la sala ha dicho. Uh... <risa> joke. No. Let's see. Um... For that to happen. Uh, we do have a suggestion. Uh, can the side have a holographic billboard or some advertising that says Big Benny's? Now, you, you, we do see Big Benny's on the side of the, the cargo containers, but maybe once, once we get to a... Or she's going to jump into it right now, I guess. Yeah, let's just do it now. Let's, let's just do it now. Okay. Let's, let's, let's see. Let's, let's, let's have a look. Maybe copies, because, you know... Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Hol hol hologram. So let's go. Like, where, where do you think though? Like, on the on the side or on the top or like? <laughs> just just big and giant rotating on the top. <laughs> yeah, like super. Like it actually. Simplemente que lo ponga gigante rotando en la en la superficie. Down actually, because it because it would be so big, it'd be like, it, it like it's clipping off the the the, the page. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, get rid of you. We want bigger and better. Right, okay. Yeah, fab. Nice. Massive. Way. Okay. So, and then you just make it like... Is that, well, we need to put like a hollow shader on it and stuff. You don't have to do it here in the Photoshop, but yeah, like... Like, like I mean, you can you can kind of, kind of do it, but it's like... Um, You need to just do a slight adjustment and like, like, whoa, like make it all funky, like, and then. Just están poniendo como el efecto de eso, por eso hicieron el sonido de. Sort of like a light source or something underneath that would be like, um, you know, projecting the the hologram, and you could be like, hey, look, Big Benny's is out to eat. Yeah, and then of course the face on the on the cup would change different emojis. Yeah, yeah. Like like, if you claro, que luego de repente, pues, eh, cuando va, pues la Mac, el, el, cuando va el camión este de transporte de comida, de entrega de comida, que va, va, vamos a poder ver diferentes emojis en el tazón y todo eso. O sea, están, están básicamente pues, tratando de crear un concepto que sea un camión de Big Benny's con un, con un holograma en la, en la cabeza, en plan a la bestia. You have to protect, you know, your, your precious cargo. I mean, bueno, y le vamos a poner un arma para defender tu carga like... preciada, ¿no? I'd be I'd be offended if you didn't have a good amount of we like weapon power or something because it's such you know such precious cargo, and as I say, with the Mercury, like you can see your weapon underneath, so it's like just make it like one one giant A10 warthog <laughs> style gun at the, at the front. Because yeah. you, you, you I mean you don't want a, a delivery vehicle shouldn't have too much weaponry, but one just super reliable. Yeah, Yeah, Yo, it should be like hidden, like the A10 as well, shouldn't it? Like, it, like in, it's like it's the whole length of the of the ship. Me parece que no estaría bien tener muchas armas, pero sí tener un arma super pequeño y confiable y que yeah, let's just like go for it. Y que se escuche como acabas de escuchar, no, que parezca un cuasquete. But yeah, like that would be like a first example um, of like something that I would something that I would do, and then you know we've got a bit more a uh, hull type, and then we've got a couple of more different types of. Um, front ends. I go with this one. Uh, question from the chat: What was your first concept for Star Citizen? Um, my first concept was a fire extinguisher, a sci-fi fire extinguisher that had to have different foam. ¿Cuál fue tu primer concepto para Star Citizen? Fue un extintor. Dice Sara, ¿no? Around, uh, I think it's like Port Alsa, mm -hmm. uh, or, or like mine, from when I first started, like six years ago, when I. 
when I was innocent and all, and um, you know, just just did fire extinguishers. <laughs> did you hear that we that Star Citizen just had its first kill with a fire extinguisher? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. If, if, if you if you haven't checked it out, guys, the community team uh, ran a wonderful. Uh, Theaters of War AMA on Spectrum uh, this week. It's still up there. You can check out, see the answers from uh, Sean Tracy and Johnny DeCivius and the rest. Bueno, está diciendo que podéis hacer un chequeo, Lama, que han, que han hecho Theaters of War y también que, que esta semana... Eh, de... Debido a las nuevas métricas, alguien fue, alguien fue asesinado por un... Por un extintor, ¿no? Lo está contando como anécdota, sin más. Y dice que está, tan orgull que está muy orgullosa, o sea, ¿no? Que bueno, que en realidad, eh, ella dice que diseñó un extintor para, para lo que sería por Olizar, eh, cuando pues, todavía era inocente y todavía no sabía pues, lo que sabe ahora, ¿no? Evidentemente. This morning on the website that actually collects all the data in one nice, easy to read thing, so you can check that out too. Oh, that's fast. I'm going to I'm gonna have to check that, because I'm going to have to see how, how it transpired basically um because that's going to be so cool to see um, what was your first uh, ship concept for star citizen mercury the mercury yeah it was my very first one that i ever did um i'd worked on other ones like but just like in terms of like like pieces so it was like parts of corridors or uh, you know like engine rooms like the starfarer engine room um i did way way back um right you 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 were assisting on other uh, concepts for the first yeah. time first couple um, years you were here dice que trabajó en otras que estuvo asistiendo en otras naves en otros conceptos pero pero que en solo como como en partes piezas algún algún pasillo nada nada como trabajar en la mercury no así en plan de hacerla entera Um, all the stuff that I needed to know, which was really cool, um, and it was yeah. fun. It's in, it's interesting. I, I hadn't put that together. Your your first uh, your first ship you got to you know run on your own was a Crusader. Uh, my first uh, ship promo that I got to run, as, you know, as as the point person uh, creating the whole promotional page and everything, was for the Genesis Starliner, which was the first <laughs> Crusader ship. So that's, that's amazing. Yeah, so that, that, that's that's why I like this the Genesis Starliner so much. It was the, it was the first time uh, the company let, let me go. Está cuando estaba hablando que bueno muchos de vosotros ya lo sabéis eh, está hablando sobre bueno que, que es curioso que también en su primera nave así la, la primera que, que hizo un, una promoción fue la Genesis Starliner y que por eso le trae muchos recuerdos y le mola mucho la nave, ¿no? Your own adventure thing about trying to get home to see your sick sister and there's a bunch of uh, uh, a spaceport oh. audible noises and and stuff like that. It's a It was cool. I liked oh, that's it. That's cool. Yeah, I like uh, that. It was weird because, like, obviously, it was it was because it was the first one that I ever did. I, I, I was so nervous because it was like you know, you just there's always a party that's just like oh, I hope I hope it goes well. I hope you know it's received well, and you know you just it's just because it, it's like this artist thing I guess built into you. It. It's you know you're trying to uh, you know make something that is good and you know people like and um as i say it was just all my a co combination of stuff over the last couple of years right, into right, one thing right that is definitely that is definitely a uh, crusader just looking at misc and going anything you can do we can do better oh yeah that's what crusader about <laughs> so, yeah, I, 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 bueno, dice que, I que básicamente que, que, que en todo lo que trabajó le sirvió para para desarrollarse lo que viene siendo en lo que viene siendo trabajando hoy en, en la Mercury y demás, que aprende muchas cosas. Y que, bueno, comentando un poco, añadiendo y colando, dice que, que, claro, que eso es lo que precisamente hace Crusader, ¿no? Que pilla todo de otras cosas, de otras marcas, para hacerlo para hacerlo mejor. Y Sara pues, le, le confirma, sí, esa es la idea de Crusader. Eh, lo que hacen los demás lo vamos a hacer mejor, ¿no? Ese es el, el rollito de la marca. ¿Por qué no? Creo que sería divertido. Para hacerlo. O, como digo, tiene, like, you know got that section and it also has like some sort of magnetic plate as well so you've got like this you know this double thing going on where you can have like extra cargo storage or you know maybe you know if you're opening a store you could grab some of these um like you know vending machines and things like that um i'll just shrink them down like you've got like a special delivery of like 
you know, just like little vending machines that you can stick uh, to so, this. Oh, uh, so, so you, you've, you've got the giant crates in the back for, you know, your mass yeah. market stuff. But then the speci a specific module for the delivery of vending machines. Estás, estás simplemente haciendo en plan otro cachondeo, en plan de diciendo que, bueno, que va a poner containers atrás y que la parte de adelante pues tiene como otro módulo donde va a poner eh, máquinas de expendedoras, ¿no? Bromeando con eso. And ships want for one of the longest times. So you think to be pretty good at it by now, right? Well, I'm looking at this now and one of my favorite aspects of the Star Citizen community is, is their uh, penchant for repurposing things for... Uh, uh, intentions not originally designed, and I'm looking at your your uh, rack of vending machines, and I, I'm thinking about those prisoner pods that were included in the uh, in the Cutlass Blue. Yes. And it's like you, you're sitting here, you're ma you're making a noodle delivery truck, uh, but you're inadvertently making a prisoner transport. Yeah, you can well. just get rid of that. You can just like. <laughs> You could just get rid of that, couldn't you? And just put like a little prisoner pod in there and just be like, pick people up. That's perfect. I didn't even think of that. Dice que, bueno, que, 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 se está muy, que se está pareciendo mucho a, lo, a los pads de prisioneros de, de la Cool Black, de la Cool Blue. Y que en realidad pueden ser que lleve prisioneros de incógnito ahí en, en, vez de, en, en vez de las máquinas expendedoras, ¿no? Y simplemente está diciendo Sara que, oh, no me había dado cuenta y tal. Y... No pinta mal la idea. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. Uh, Klesk3000 like... says, this is how Benny's Henge got made. Uh, actually, Benny's Henge got made by me sitting down with Luke Presley and hitting him with 40 terrible, terrible ideas. And, and him picking one that was the least <gasps> terrible, he thought. Uh, Benny's Henge turns out really, really good. I'll say it was great that it was like a little Easter egg yeah. um, that people went to and stuff. And that's what I love is like Easter eggs um, in games. Because uh, they're always fun to go and find. I've learned, I've learned over the years that if you hit, if you hit people with one or two ideas, it's easy to do. But if you hit them with 40 or 50 ideas, then you just you, you saturate their brain. Yeah, and then that, it, that's what you want, isn't it? And you get loads of <laughs> like loads of ideas going, and you just think, oh, I didn't even, I didn't even think of that, like. That, but that's what makes it so awesome is like all these people just join in and just viendo, make some eh, crazy stuff que, up, which is... Viendo el rumbo que está tomando este, esta City en Live, lo que voy a hacer es eh, directamente ahorraros el sufrimiento. <risa> Me lo voy a mover para adelante porque realmente eso lo van a hacer una nave por lo que están viendo y realmente las conversaciones que están teniendo no son eh, algo que, que parezca relevante. Entonces eh, vamos como que a darle para adelante... Y, y, a, y a dejarlo por aquí por el final, a ver lo que consiguen, comentarlo un poquito y ya está. Creo que es mejor conservar yeah, the, the, energías. The, the Greek and the Roman, uh... Conservar energías para cuando realmente hagan algo que sea de interés, que muestre desarrollo. En este caso, pues simplemente es ocio, ¿no? Entonces, para hacer ocio, prefiero enseñaros Star Citizen, ¿no? To a Star Citizen streamer who is streaming right now. Uh, look... Vale, que simplemente Mini. le van a dar ahí un streamer, um, eh, como siempre. Y bueno, pues esto, esto es como se quedaría la nave. A ver si le podemos ver un resultado ah. final. Que al final han hecho una nave gordísima, tal, y todo el rollo. Sí, una con doble. Y eso es todo. O sea, realmente no... Pues ya veis, un Star Citizen Live sencillito. Y nada, eh, daros las gracias por el apoyo. Y... Me voy al Star Citizen.